Being from my family is very, very different. Every family's dynamic is different. For my family personally, when my grandmother passed away, the mother of all my aunts and uncles, and my father, it changed. Every time I come back home, I always have so many people trying to reach out to me, trying to talk to me, trying to rekindle relationships. But there were specific relationships that I wanted to mend. There are some relationships that I wanted to lay to rest. Being in Mississippi for an entire week and also Memphis, I know what relationships I want to put behind me. And I know what relationships I want to keep with me. One thing I love about Mississippi is how quiet it is. I don't get this too often in a city. Hey kitty kitty. How are you? Come here. doesn't want my attention. Being back home was very interesting. Every time I come back, it seems like I just fall directly back into where I left off. It feels homey, and I love the vibe of being back home. But on the flip side of things, I can't help but to feel like I'm back in the trauma. There's so many things that I have not resolved that are here, so many spirits that are still lingering over me whenever I enter the past. But I try my hardest to overcome those and deal with that in today's time and realize that those are memories and they are the past. They don't have to be the future. If I didn't get to a point where I could acknowledge this gracefully, I wouldn't be putting my best foot forward. And I don't wanna look back on these memories and let them be so dark my family, my friends, and my loved ones. I want them to get the best version of me. And I didn't see that as a possibility before. But on this new journey, I'm ready to put everything behind me and actually forgive myself and forgive those who have hurt me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Where you at? At the house. Oh, well, that, uh, that, that, poo-poo there, Becky there, uh, they can't, he just bought all that shit. So they should be there. I'm finna pull up, though. I'm gonna crash off in the, uh, back on the car. They're so the house? Yeah, he's in the house. He got the, he got the tie hole. Look at that.
They're doing so hard. They're doing so hard. I'm I'm gonna take you to the picture though. You want to how they go to My dad cannot stand this gay shit. <laughs> you don't know about that. I never drink that much around my daddy. I beat and got traumatized and slapped the whole family. What you got? This boy ain't never got no haircut. Every time I see him, he ain't got no haircut. Him and his little brother. The only thing they come over here for is to eat. But my daddy, he's cool with it. One thing about me, I'm going to eat, baby. See? Huh? That's you. Oh. This little one to the left, she's been acting out lately. And I can only assume that it's because her little brother is now getting all the attention. You don't have to be like anything you come from. As long as you never forget where you come from, I think that's all that matters. You get one family in life. You have to love them through their flaws and all. Whenever I'm in town, I always come to the house that I was born in. It reminds me of a time when I was happy. And this was the only time my mother and my father were in a relationship and we were together. I can remember that's all I wanted as a child.
You want to stop? Let me get you on the camera. <laughs> okay, but wait, how I can't leave my car here? Where are we finna go? We finna go back to the house. Hello, you guys. So today is the last day in Mississippi. And we are about to clean out my car and check under the hood so that we can get on this road after I make a few more stops. <laughs> Thank you.